What's up? My name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In this video, we'll be tackling some common Cold War Zombies issues that could result in random fatal error crashes, making you lose all of your progression and progress in the story. While crashing out of the game usually isn't too bad, if you've invested hours and hours into a Zombies game just for it to crash out, it can be incredibly disappointing. But hopefully by the end of this video, you'll have done some things that should help your experience overall with Black Ops Cold War crashes, especially in zombies mode. Most of the things that we're going to be doing are small or big, but will help improve stability to some extent. Of course, if you'd like some extra performance out of the game, make sure to check the description down below for numerous optimization guides, including a video where I run through the effect of every graphics option in the game to your FPS and performance on PC. But anyways, let's get on with the video. So before we even begin, the first thing that you should do and make sure of is that not only your GPU drivers are up to date, but also Windows. If you updated either of those right now, simply restart your PC and then continue with this tutorial. Next up, I'd highly recommend opening your NAT in-game by simply port forwarding your device through your router and of course allowing it through your firewall. By doing this, you should have a much more stable network connection to not only other players, but also to the servers, less interruptions, and hopefully things will be better with a more stable experience. Since opening my NAT, a couple of network issues that I had before have simply solved themselves. If you'd like to know how to open your NAT and port forward, check the description down below once again. But because not everyone is able to port forward, opening your NAT may not be something you could do. Something you can do, however, if you haven't already opened your NAT, is simply allow the game through your Windows firewall or firewall application. By doing this, you should get at least a slightly better experience. So, let's go ahead and do that. On your computer, simply hit start and then type in firewall. Open up firewall and network protection. So of course, this will only apply to you if you're using the Windows firewall. If you're using an antivirus's firewall or firewall software, you'll have to allow it through there with a separate guide based on the program that you're using. But assuming you're using the Windows firewall, simply click allow an app through the firewall. Then on this list over here, click change settings at the very top and we'll be looking for Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. If for some reason you don't see it on this list, simply click allow another app and if you don't find it on this list of recently used apps, simply click browse and then navigate across to what the game is. Then select Black Ops Cold War, click open and then add. After doing that, open this menu up again, browse, select Black Ops Launcher, open and add once again. Of course, both of these are added to my list already, so I'll simply locate them and make sure that both private and public are checked. After doing this, click OK and your Windows firewall should allow the game through it. On top of this, the Windows ransomware protection can cause issues with reading files. To fix this, simply head across to Virus and Threat Protection on the left-hand side menu, and at the very bottom, you'll find Ransomware Protection. Click Manage Ransomware Protection, and if Controlled Folder Access is turned on, simply click Allow an App Through Controlled Folder Access, and then make sure that both Black Ops Cold War and Black Ops Cold War Launcher are on this list. In order to do that, Simply click Add an Allowed App, browse all apps, and locate both the Launcher and Black Ops Cold War. Double click on them, and they'll be added to this list over here. After doing that, they should be allowed through the Windows Anti Ransomware Protection. If they're having issues reading or writing any files, those should be fixed. I, of course, have this off all the time, so that's not something I need to worry about. Now, you can close out of this window, and we'll head into the Blizzard Launcher. Inside of the Blizzard Launcher, simply locate Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War, click on it, then from the Options menu, select Scan and Repair. Doing this will run through all of the files on your local computer and make sure that everything matches the server side. So if something's incorrect or corrupted, it'll be re-downloaded and fixed, meaning that your game is basically clean reinstalled, but without actually having to download the entire game again. On top of this, before we actually fire up the game, if you're using something like OBS to capture gameplay, you can try not using game capture and instead using a display capture to capture your entire screen, then trim it afterwards to match your game. This is a slightly less common fix, but it's something that worked for me. On top of this, you may want to try disabling overlays such as Discord, Steam, etc. Even something like River Tuner if you're trying to get an FPS graph overlay or something like that while playing. Then, if you're using Windows in a Nordic language especially, you should try setting your Windows language to English. To do this, hit Start, type in Language, or whatever it is in your language, click Language Settings, and inside of here, make sure that the Windows Display Language has English selected. 
The region doesn't matter as far as I know, but as long as English is selected, you shouldn't have an issue playing the game. If you don't see English, scroll down, click add a language, and simply locate English on this list over here. After doing that, you can close out of the list. And finally, if you have a lower powered older graphics card, you can click options, followed by game settings inside of Black Ops Cold War. Inside of here, we'll be clicking additional command line arguments, and inside of here, type in hyphen D3D11. This will launch up the game in DirectX 11 mode, making sure that it should work with your older graphics card if that's something that you're struggling with. I of course have a 10 series graphics card, so I don't really need this. I can click done. So of course, right now you'd go ahead and launch up the game and you'd start customizing your settings. Assuming you can get to the options screen, try dropping all of your settings a bit lower and if you're still struggling with FPS or crashes, you can try lowering the render resolution and then the actual resolution afterwards. Your render resolution should always be 100%. Try messing around with the screen resolution or display resolution as that'll give you a crisper experience. Hopefully then you'll experience fewer crashes if your graphics card is maxing out. Speaking of graphics, the Windows High Performance Mode can be something that causes issues. Having it on or off sometimes results in better or worse experiences for me crashes-wise and stability-wise in Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. This was especially relevant for me in the beta and early days of Cold War. Simply hit Start, type in GPU and open Graphics Settings. Inside of here, you'll see Hardware Accelerated GPU Scheduling, assuming your PC is fully up to date on the newest version of Windows. If this is on, you should get better performance and less latency, but having this on or off caused my game to crash quite a bit. Toggling this off or on, the opposite of whatever it is currently, did help me quite a bit with my crashes. I'm saying this because I had it on for a good while and the game was crashing every couple of rounds. But when I turned it off, the game worked mostly fine. Later on, after another Windows update, it was off, it was crashing a bunch, I turned it back on and things are working as expected. A bit odd, but playing around with that option is something that can help you quite a bit. And finally, the last odd tip that I have for you is putting the game on an SSD instead of a hard disk. You're probably wondering why on earth would this help you and I can't really tell you. I experienced quite a bit of crashes when I had this on a hard disk, but as soon as I said, screw it, I'll put it on my SSD, it worked a lot better. Why? Absolutely no idea, but it's something that you can try. Anyways, that's about it for this video. Hopefully you took something useful from it. I'd highly recommend checking the description down below for videos on opening your NAT and optimizing your in-game settings for the best possible experience. But anyways, that's about it for this video. Hopefully you found something useful in it. My name has been Techno over here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!